Hello, this video talks about retrieving the DTC or Diagnostic Trouble, trouble Codes from a 19, oh I think it's as early as 1982 to 1995 GM vehicles. In 1995 some of the vehicles, the later ones, changed to OBD2 method of obtaining the uh, Diagnostic Trouble Codes, but uh, pretty much in the 82 to 95 range you'll find a connector very similar to this one and it has uh, it has two rows of uh, of six columns or pins and let me see if I can hold the light here and what you need to do to if you have a check engine light or a service engine soon light that comes up on your dash you definitely have a trouble code set even if that light is not lit on your dash you may also have a soft trouble code set and that means that the fault came but went away or it was a minor fault but the computer still will store it so until the uh, until the computer's been reset. So the way you retrieve these codes is you turn the ignition off, take the key out just to be sure, take a paper clip like this, straighten it out so that it's nearly a like a piece of wire, stick it in those two connectors like that, like that, and make sure you stick it in the top two connectors. And and when you short those two pins, you will tell the computer to go into diagnostic mode. So now you will turn the key on, but not start it, just turn it to the on position and count the flashes of the check engine light on the dash. The check engine light will flash, and then there will be a pause, and then there will be a flash flash. If you count the flashes in the spaces between them, a flash, flash flash is a code 1, 2, or a code 12, and that indicates that no ignition signal is being received by the computer. That would be normal because the engine is not running, and it wouldn't expect uh, you wouldn't expect the uh, computer to be picking up the uh, engine pu uh, the ignition pulses. So that's a normal code when you see a code 12. The computer will spit out 12, 12, 12, and after the third 12, it will spit out any other stored DTCs. And uh, then once it's spit out all the other DTCs, it will spit out 12, 12, 12 again, and then repeat 12, 12, 12. Any other DTCs? 12, 12, 12. So it'll go in that sequence. Once you've satisf you're satisfied that you've written down all the uh, all the codes, by the way, it's good to have a piece of paper and a pencil handy before you actually turn the ignition on because they kind of go quickly. You will turn the key off, pull the key out to be sure, and then remove this paper clip. Now, here's another device that GM has put out, or well, I don't know who, Innova or some company, test tool companies put it out, Innova, I guess. This is the Innova 3123 uh, code reader, they call it. Uh, really, all it does is uh, you can see it's got three connectors there. You short the two pin, it shorts the two pins on the top that I just showed you with the paper clip. And uh, this doesn't actually read any codes, but it just does exactly what I told you the paper clip does. So you can use one of these. I have, uh, I have one of these in my truck because, uh, well, I just left it in here. I had it. I bought it for five bucks on Kijiji, so why not? Anyway, um, so that's what I can tell you about how to retrieve the trouble codes. Uh, let me check my notes. Um, my symptoms were the uh, truck had um, had soot pouring out of the tailpipe at idle, and it would idle really very very rough. And if I could, if I pressed the uh, pedal aggressively when I went to accelerate, it would stall. If I just gently pressed the accelerator and tried to nurse it up above idle, as soon as I got to 2,000 RPMs, the uh, engine would work great and it would take off. The fuel economy dropped from a normal of 20 to 21 miles per gallon down to about 12 or 14. And since this isn't a Dodge product, uh, that's not acceptable fuel mileage. I'm just kidding, all you Dodge owners. I'm, uh, I'm uh, hoping you find that kind of funny. Anyway, um, fuel economy went down. And um, so I knew that there was a problem, obviously due to the uh, the rough idling. And when I got on the highway, it uh, the computer registered a DTC45, which is an O2 rich sensor code. So the O2 sensor detected a rich condition, and also the tailpipe told me that it was a rich condition. So I figured the O2 sensor was working. So uh, I will continue on with additional videos on what I did next. And I think, just checking my notes again. Uh
yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for this video.